All new here tonight, a South Florida man woke up to find his work van gone. Was he the victim of an illegal tow? Help me, Howard, with Patrick Frazier, has the answers. When Christopher's wife was pregnant with her first child, he knew he had to make a change. I decided to leave school and start a business on my own to provide for my child. Christopher started FNS Carpet Cleaning. FNS, get it? Father and his new son. Water restoration, upholstery cleaning, leather cleaning, tile and grout. Christopher, of course, has a van for his equipment. And while they don't allow commercial vehicles with a name of the company at his complex, they let Christopher move in if he covered the writing with white magnets. Whenever I came home, it was like clockwork, always putting the magnetics on the truck. For seven months, everything was fine, and then it wasn't. I go downstairs, I'm ready for the day. <laughs> My van wasn't there in the parking lot. I thought it was stolen. A company that monitors Christopher's complex for illegal vehicles had his van towed. He called them. She said that there was no commercial vehicles allowed on the property. I explained, well, I have my magnetics. She said, uh, not from what I'm seeing, and that even if I had my magnetics on because there's no windows to my truck, it's considered commercial. When Christopher got to the tow company, his magnets had disappeared and the monitoring company told him he could not park at his apartment complex anymore. I'm borrowing friends' places because I'm having a difficult time finding parking. And if Christopher has to park far from his apartment, he knows in South Florida it's only a matter of time till someone steals all his equipment from his van. It's very stressful. <laughs> well, Howard, Christopher thinks he was towed illegally. The people who had him towed say it was legal. Who's right? It seems like it was an illegal tow, and here's why. The company that ordered the vehicle be towed said it had no windows and it had the company name on the van, which made it a commercial vehicle. But that's not true. No windows has nothing to do with anything. And since Christopher had approval from the association to park if he covered the lettering, they could not legally tow his van. We contacted the property management company for the Players Club in Coral Springs. They told us the monitoring company said the magnets were not on Christopher's van when they towed it. Christopher says they were, just like they have been every day for the past seven months. The management company then reimbursed Christopher for the tow, and they paid to replace the magnets. They also put him on a do not tow list, so the monitoring company cannot move his van again. And how do you know if you were towed illegally? It can be very difficult. You need to know the association's rules, the laws in the parking lot of the place where you put the car, where there are no parking signs visible. There are state laws, and each county and city can have different laws, so be careful. Christopher can now sleep well, knowing his van will be there in the morning after his call to help me, Howard. I'm ecstatic about it because I got answers. Glad we could help. Now, the most common dispute in towing cases, the no parking signs or the towaway signs. If they don't exist or aren't in the right location, the person who called for you to be towed has to reimburse you. The tow company has the record of who requested the tow, so ask them for that information when you get your vehicle back. Someone carpeted you with problems? Ready to clean them up? Contact us, because we're drawn like a magnet to help you. With this, help me, Howard and Patrick Frazier, 7 News.